When I was over in Montana, if you didn't have a dually and you had a camper on the back, you'd get blown over with the wind. Ah! <laughs> I'm Alicia and I'm taking my truck camper on a Pacific Northwest road trip this winter, hitting as many mountains as I can on the Icon Pass and snowboarding my little heart out. This week I'm leaving Crystal and headed to Snoqualmie. Bye y'all. Two cool things happened at Crystal. I got to see this mountain on like spring conditions where the snow is hard and then and the groomers are fast but I also got to see the mountain on a snow day and it was so cool. Way to carry you. you Leaning forward is kind of scary. No, you gotta, you gotta keep that weight forward so you carry down. You look good though. that time of week again. I got my gray water and my black water to dump. I've got to get propane and diesel. I'm just having a grand old time right here. <laughs> While I'm headed to the summit at Snoqualmie, I wanted to tell you guys a story. So so all week I have been in Starbucks working or on the mountain and I've had to work a lot this week. Today was my last day in this Starbucks coffee shop in this small town in Washington and I go in there and this little girl asked her mom, does she live here? Because last time she was in there she also saw me there which was a little like awkward because you know how it's awkward when kids say stuff that feels true like I feel like I've been living in that coffee shop <laughs> oh man oh their diesel is expensive 571 propane here right shells usually uh, I don't really see propane We're gonna hit the summit tomorrow and then I'm gonna finish up my work on Sunday and then I'm gonna probably stay in Washington for the next couple days and then hit straight through to Idaho. The one thing I'm a little nervous about is I probably should have got diesel before I got on this pass and I hope that it's all gonna work out. to see if I can find a place to park tonight and they have night skiing and I was like oh hell yeah I cannot believe this mountain has night skiing I really got to do more research before I come places like slushy like this so dope yeah this is where I stayed last night morning so last night I slept in the pass at Snoqualmie's parking lot it's cool that they've got overnight parking and I've got to go get another one of these passes today you've got to reserve your icon 
like space online and then you've got to go get a physical ticket and the sun just started shining and so I'm like it's I'm slow moving it's 11 30 but it's okay because I've got like a couple more days on this mountain and I've got night skiing tonight check this mountain out for reals Wow, I did not expect the summit at Snoqualmie to be so freaking cool. I feel like travel is like super high highs and low lows and it's just kind of like life on steroids. Well, I've had so much fun here and I didn't expect it. And it's kind of one of those things you've got to experience things rather than just speculating. You can look at something online and be like, yeah, I kind of get the, the gist of it, but you really got to go to the place, feel it out for yourself, have your own experience. I highly recommend coming to the summit at Snoqualmie. It was so good. I made a friend today and we rode together and she pushed me to hit the boxes on the park more consistently than I have been doing. I kind of like psyched myself out about it. I'm gonna ride at Snoqualmie a couple more days and then I am headed to Idaho for my birthday. I should be hitting Schweitzer. This will be my eighth icon location for the winter. Crazy. I feel like my dream of getting this truck camper and getting to snowboard at all the mountains and having a winter like road trip, it happened. And it makes me want to just keep dreaming big and working on it, you know? This morning is nuts. I didn't expect this much snow and it's just dumping. And I'm like, how do I even get to the, the lift right now? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna figure this out together. This is nuts. Whoa, and it's so fluffy. I'm so excited. Ah! It's so thick. It's so good. Ah! I've been walking for ages, but I'm almost there to the ticket line. I wish I would have put my bindings back so that my board raises up in the pal, whatever. Today's gonna be a great day. I just feel it. Okay, so one exciting thing, I got this new board this year and I had like a beginner, let me put my glove on. I finally got a new Capita 2022 women's all mountain board. I got it on Craigslist. A girl used it a couple times and didn't like it. It rips. So on deep pal days, I didn't set my bindings back and I'm still just like flying through the thick stuff. I am not getting stuck and getting caught up and getting frustrated. 
it just goes to show gear matters so much and when it comes to having nice gear it just makes your day so much better and so much more comfortable to be in like a freaking storm you know i wanted to show you guys my board riding through the thick stuff but for some reason my video files are corrupt anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll be headed to sandpoint idaho next